The search for ways to prevent the spread of the coronavirus is boosting business for a company about an hour south of Kansas City. KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar explains they've developed technology that can test the air in a large room. Right now, the word of the week at this biotech hardware company is Corona. That's because sales have doubled in parts of the world where the coronavirus is rampant. Products made in this room have long been used for homeland security and research purposes. Public health is the new focus. Downtown Drexel, Missouri doesn't exactly make you think high tech, but it's home to Innova Prep Technologies, which is getting international attention. Major sales are in China and Korea right now, but starting to pick up in Europe. CEO Dave Alberti helped develop anthrax monitoring systems for the Postal Service nearly two decades ago. And we've been in this battle with pathogens for millennia, whether or not we've known it. But now we've got the secret weapon. We've got uh, instruments like these that can rapidly detect a threat. The major threat right now is, of course, COVID-19. People spread the virus before they know they're even sick. The virus is spread even by talking and breathing, not just coughing and sneezing. And so like many other viruses, it can then float on the air. This machine, called the Bobcat, named after Dreskel's mascot, collects air and traps microbes and germs in a filter. Foam solution turns the sample to liquid. Then this machine concentrates the organisms in the liquid to a tiny fraction of a drop, which can then be put into a machine to detect what they are. It amplifies the DNA until there's enough of the DNA of that organism to identify it. And all of that takes less than two hours. The military has been using the technology for years to detect for bio threats in the air. Now Alberti sees how the Bobcat and concentrator could help make hospitals, cruise ships, and even office buildings safer. It's good to know it's in your environment because you can peer all your hands, but you can't peer all your lungs. Alberti has reached out to the CDC, Department of Health and Human Services, and state health officials about his technology and has yet to hear back. Reporting in Drexel, Missouri, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.